Hi, my name is Danny Tell. Today I'm going to be showing you an easy, step-by-step -step method on how to tie the full Windsor knot. At some point in your life, you or someone you know might need help learning how to tie a tie. And hopefully, with my instructions, you'll be able to successfully tie the full Windsor knot. This knot creates a perfect knot that looks great when tied correctly. It works well for people with medium to large build. Since it's such a wide knot, it doesn't work particularly well with someone with a small stature. First you will need a tie, and preferably a wide colored shirt, holding the big end in your right hand and the small end in your left. The first step is to take three or four inches of the short hand in your left hand. You only need a little bit because the rest of the tie is recorded to tie the knot. Then bring the long end of the tie over the front end of the short end. From there you will need to bring the tie back up underneath towards your neck and pull it through. Drop it down to the right hand side. Now I'll stop for a second so you can see how it is supposed to look before we go on. Now bring the long end of the tie back up underneath the knot, and the back of the tie is now facing the front. Then bring the tie across the front of the knot towards your neck. Pull it all the way through, and allow it to drop back to the right side. Notice the knot is a nice symmetrical V-shape. The back of the tie is again facing the front. From there, bring the tie back across the front of the knot. This is what will create the nice front section of the knot. Bring it back up underneath again towards your neck. Hold the knot in place, keeping the knot kind of loose. Then bring the long end down and tuck it through the front slowly. Pull it all the way through and tighten it a little bit. Holding the short end with one hand, hold on to the knot with the other and pull it up towards your neck. Pull your collar down over the knot and now you have the full Windsor knot.